Russia has issued a chilling warning to the US and Britain after holding another set of war games and attacking a mock enemy in the waters surrounding Crimea. A Russian Navy video shows missiles firing from the frigate Admiral Grigorovich and coastal anti-ship weapon systems against a mock enemy. Some 20 warships and auxiliary vessels were involved in the latest exercises in and close to the Black Sea Peninsula, annexed by Russia from Ukraine seven years ago. The footage shows both Baal and Utes missile systems deployed in major drills off naval port Sevastopol. The crew of the frigate fired a Shtil anti-aircraft missile to strike down a progress target missile mimicking an enemy attack, said reports. It was hit at a distance of 25 miles, said the fleet. Ball missile systems were deployed to destroy a naval group of a simulated enemy both close and far from the coast, according to a TASS report citing naval sources. This was the second week of war games in the area. Britain has led NATO forces in sending patrols, including US and Dutch warships, close to Crimea. Dot. A FSB Security Service Coast Guard vessel fired shots in the direction of the UK warship, claiming the vessel had sailed into Russian territorial waters. Moscow also claimed to have dropped bombs from an Su-24 warplane in a bid to push the British ship away from the Crimean coast. A major diplomatic incident followed in which Boris Johnson defended the show of support for Ukraine as entirely right. But there were Russian threats including one from Mikhail Popov, Deputy Secretary of Russia's Security Council, to sink the next Royal Navy warship to sail in the same waters. The British warship, a Type 45 destroyer, exercised what London said were internationally recognized freedom of navigation rules in Ukrainian territorial waters. Russia protested strongly against the British move at the time with a Coast Guard vessel firing warning shots and summoned the British ambassador for an explanation. Popov, in an interview in the state Rossiskaya Gazeta newspaper, said Britain's behavior and its subsequent reaction to the incident was bewildering. In particular, he criticized suggestions from British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Dominic Raab, the Foreign Minister, that the incident could be repeated. Similar actions will be thwarted with the harshest methods in future by Russia regardless of the violator's state allegiance. We suggest our opponents think hard about whether it's worth organizing such provocations given the capabilities of Russia's armed forces, said Popov. It's not the members of the British government who will be in the ships and vessels used for provocational ends, he added. And it's in that context that I want to ask a question of the same Boris Johnson and Dominic Raab, what will they say to the families of the British sailors who will get hurt in the name of such great ideas?
advertisement.